During the summer months, we spend about half an hour every evening watering our plants in the garden and in the raised beds on the terrace. When we are on vacation, neighbors and family have to step in and water our plants. These are two good reasons to install an automatic watering system for beds and raised beds. Problematic in planning is the variety of available systems and the fact that the manufacturers themselves often do not properly explain which system must be used for what, which parts you need, mandatory or optional. So I was initially not sure whether I should install, for example, a Gardena micro drip system or rather a classic pearl hose. With both systems, it needs a central irrigation computer, which delivers water to the following irrigation system according to a programmed schedule. With the micro drip system, however, this is followed by a pressure reducer, which reduces the water pressure to such an extent that the downstream pipe system can deliver the water drop by drop. I can position the nozzles flexibly and thus have water delivered specifically to individual plants. I can also water potted plants in this way. With the classical model instead, I also use the watering computer, but save the pressure reducer. The supply hose is connected directly to the pearl hose with a coupling. Unlike the micro drip system, the pearl hose delivers water equally along its entire length. This is ideal for my densely planted raised beds and lengthy flower beds, which is why I decided against the micro drip system and in favor of the classic pearl hose. Let's move on to the watering computer. I decided to use the Gardena Master watering computer. This offers me the creation of six different watering schedules. Setting up and operating the computer is quick and intuitive. After entering the day of the week and time, I can create the first watering schedule. I choose the start time and the duration of the watering, and I also specify which days of the week this schedule should run on. I now insert the removable control panel into the computer installed on the faucet. So let's continue with the hose. First of all, I lay the supply line to the flower bed and use a normal garden hose for this. I now connect the pearl hose to the supply line with a coupling. In order to ensure that the hose is reliably laid and does not slip later, I use regular tent packs from camping accessoires. With these, I fix the hose and the flower bed. The hose can be shortened at any time without major problems. To do this, I simply cut the hose cleanly at the desired end point with the string cutter. I remove the end plug from the rest and use brute force to insert it into the end I just cut. Since I don't trust the material, I put another hose clamp on it so the plug doesn't come loose at some point. How long should you water? Here's how I approached watering schedules. I used to water the flower bed, which is shown in this video, with two watering cans of 10 liters a day, so 20 liters in total. So now with the irrigation system, I also have to run about 20 liters per day to the flower bed. Since the flow varies depending on local water pressure, type of installation and length of hose, I also get a water meter from Gardena and used it to see how many liters of water are effectively used in one minute. I then created my watering schedules depending on this and distributed the required minutes between 8 in the morning and 20 o'clock in the evening. The irrigation has now been taking a lot of work off my hands for five weeks and the flowers continue to do well. So for me, it's a well-rounded system. You can find an Amazon affiliate link to all the products I used in the video description and in the first comment.